Okay, uh, today we're showing how to clean catfish uh, to get fillets off it. This one's still kicking. He was caught a couple hours ago. And he, catfish can live a long time, so he's going to be filleted while he's still fresh. Is it fish inside a fish? Yeah, he's got a bait in there. Oh. Stop playing with the fish face. I want to see his bait. <laughs> okay, Sebastian, come. we're going to see if my son can cut his oh. head off. Catfish are pretty hard to cut. Wait, cut his head off? Okay, so catfish are one of the hardest fish to cut the heads off of, but I still do that when I clean these. Um, the easiest way to do it is to cut through this part right here where he's cutting. You, Push, cut you, you can cut feel it. the bone right here, so you're going to want to go on an angle down like that as best you can. I might have to do it. You've got to put a lot of pressure on it. Okay, let me see here. We're just going to mutilate the fish. Let's get him out of his misery. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, he's got a lot of bone. Oh, where's your sinker? Let me see. <laughs> oh, that's not his sinker. That's his heart <laughs> or something. I don't know. So no, we're putting him out of his misery by getting rid of the head. We're going to cut that all the way off. I might have to sharpen my knife again. Okay. So we cleaned off the board because it's pretty bloody, and I'm going to resharpen my knife because I had to cut through that bone. And again, the only reason I do this when I do fish is so I can make sure I'm getting the best hunks of meat right off there. And you're going to go all the way down the rib cage and find his little pooper. <laughs> Same as doing bass. You're going to go above, lift the tip of the knife up to go over the spine so you're on the top of the spine. The knife should come out right at his pooper. And then you're going to kind of angle downward and you want to run it all the way down that spine so you make sure you get all that meat. This catfish have a nice layer of meat on them. They don't have to be real big. They are slippy little guys. That's another nice thing about cats. They don't have any scales, but we're still going to skin them just to make sure. Just keep running it down his ribs. And at some point, it's going to go right over the top. You're just going to kind of push inward onto the ribs and slide down. If you get some, we're going to clean that fillet up here in a minute. I'm gonna cut through there. There's one fillet. And we got all the meat all the way down. You can see how close that is. That's the bone, so we didn't lose any. And I'm gonna flip them over and do the same thing. Right on that edge. Tip your knife in there. Make sure you're on the top half of the uh, rib cage up here. You're not going beneath it. And I'm gonna get down a little further. Staying on top, we're going to go above the spine and come back down this thing again. We should get all the meat. They're a little more difficult to hold on to. If you're going to do cat, I recommend having skin holders when it comes to skinning them because they're really hard to hold them still because there's kind of a slippery skin. It's like wet latex. So we're going to cut straight through and get that off. We got two nice fillets out of that cat. Now, I'm going to wash the board one more time. So we're back. Everything's cleaned up again. I'm going to resharpen the knife again because cat is just, the skin is rough too. It's kind of like shark is even worse. But um, since the skin is on here and it's really hard to get a hold of, you should have a pair of these. Your thumb doesn't work real good at a thumbnail like I do in other videos because you really got to get a hold of that. And we're just going to kind of wiggle it down and hopefully it doesn't tear. Can we get all of it all the way off? And that's the little skin stuff. I'll get the next one. And get all that. No waste. And just like bass fillets, you always want to check for bones in here. Um, catfish is less likely to have any. Um, if you go over the rib cage, I don't feel any on these. And I'm just pushing my fingers in, making sure. Um, this top part of meat is from around the fin, the fin up top. I usually cut that off just to make it a little cleaner. Cut off the part right by the head so it's clean there. You can see we got nice clean fillets. Again, you can see how close I got to the edge. You can see all that stuff right there. We're going to trim that off. That's from the, I think they call that the 
top of the dorsal fin. We'll clean that off. And there you go. They're ready to be uh, seasoned up and ready to be either seasoned and cooked or frozen. That's some nice looking catfish fillets right there. Thank you for watching and have a good day.